Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Hey fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I'm Ungir Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Uganda. This Ugandan mamas um, were filmed protecting their village and their land. Let me show you this clip. We'll come back and discuss. Mm. Oh, oh, Mom, you're mad. Please, please. You, but you know, 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 as you saw, they, they were literally pointing them to the direction that they came from. And, you know, the Muzungus, it looks like they're trying to cycle their way through the lands of those village people. And they're like, no, 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 no. You're not going to bring all that unnecessary <laughs> um, disease, you know, right now what we're battling as people especially um, in the rural areas of africa um, african countries not a lot of you know cases c19 has entered so people are very um, aware of that and they're very cautious especially when they see a different race so they were trying to protect um, their land and they're like no you're not you're not gonna enter here you know this is a whole community and this is a safe space for us so we're not gonna allow you to come in so they were rejecting them and telling them to go back and as you saw the Muzungus were begging them asking to uh, be let in please so they refused they told them to go back home but um i saw a few people saying that unfortunately uh they were fined for doing that those older women i i, I don't get it i don't get why the government will fine uh, th those women it's a private property they're trying to enter to my property like that's trespassing i have every right to tell them go away you should not get in like why are the women uh, fined if what i read was true that's alleged but if that's true it's just a disgrace and this is something that we cannot accept we should be you know appreciating this women for what they're doing for their heroic action why are we you know uh, punishing them for the decision the the decision that they made to protect the, themselves and their family members so I, if that's true shame on the government or the officials that did that but as for the ladies all we can say is well done you did very well to being vigilant and protecting your land that is yours and yours only anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about this ugandan mothers protecting their village from those people that were trying to get in the land of those villagers i am angel zalalem i'll see you on the next one bye Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app, now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.